Hey everyone, Dex here. Just wanted to go over a little bit of a build we found messing around with some exotics that were long lost and kind of have been not so great. But with Stasis, they actually have a really unique place. And the one we're talking about mainly here is Vesper of Radius actually is insane when you match it with the new aspect Frost Pulse. Now, the Frost Pulse aspect, casting your rift generates a shockwave that freezes nearby combatants. In conjunction with that, with Vesper of Radius, your rift releases an arc shockwave when cast. It also regens your rift energy faster when you're surrounded by enemies. So what happens is when you drop your rift, you actually do the shockwave at the same time, so they freeze and then instantly shatter, sending out any other additional perks you have, like the Seekers, to start freezing additional enemies. So with this build, what I'm running here is our Vesper of Radius, have a friction fire with wellspring because I wanted to see what would happen if I needed more ability energy because I could just start killing some adds and get some back. I also have here the cloud strike so we were actually doing precision hits and final blows with this to generate lightning and that kind of works really well with the idea of dropping our electric rift as well. On top of this what I was running on the mods is we're actually running charge harvester. So what this does is while you're not charged with light, any kill or assist has a chance that we become charged with light. So when we do our rift and we shatter all the enemies and kill them, there is actually a chance we become charged with light because of that. On top of that, we're running high energy fire just to get more damage. And with that was protective light. So when I'm dropping the rift, if I end up becoming charged with light, I then also have a chance if I get attacked to be protected with protective light. So let's see what this looks like out in the wild. So these guys are going to drop down and we're going to drop the rift. It's going to freeze them and then shatter them because of the arc energy from the rift. So we'll do it up here. So this is without Vesper of Radius on. You can see it just locks them in place, but they don't shatter. So in order to get like the grenade regen and the rift regen, I need them to shatter. So we'll put Vesper back on. We're gonna go run towards the enemies so that we get more rift energy. So as we become surrounded by enemies, we start getting more rift energy. Now we can drop a rift. It's going to freeze and then shatter them. Same thing here. I'm just going to stand and use the submachine gun to gain some extra energy if I need it. As you can see, we get our rift back really quickly. So here we'll wipe this entire room except for the boss with one rift. Everything in that room froze and then died. This effect also does work against champions. So without even disrupting that captain, we did freeze him, damage him, and then killed him with the sword without having to use any disruption at all. You can see the regen here standing next to these three enemies. If you guys enjoyed the video please drop a thumbs up and subscribe for future content if you haven't come drop by while we're live on twitch on twitch.tv slash dexable